I like R.J. Barrett. He's a very personable guy. When I walked in and saw you today, and I said, what do you think? You said, steal. Why so for him? I watched him all year at Michigan, and Michigan was one of the top five, top ten teams in the country. You know, they started the season undefeated. He's a freshman, and he's leading them in scoring. This guy can score in many different ways. He talked about his versatility. There's a little bit of his athleticism. He's a legit 6'7", 220. He's strong, and he's only 20 years old. He's going to continue to get better. Uh, he shot 39% from the three-point line, so his game's completely polished. And to average, you know, 14.8 points in the Big Ten, one of the best conferences in the country, very well known for its defense, and to be a part of a team that, you know, had Final Four aspirations. They came up just a little bit short, but that's a team that, uh, you know, was complete top to bottom, and he was probably their best player he on both ends of the floor, especially on the offensive end of the floor. He was their leading scorer. So when I heard that name, I was like, whoa. Wait a second, I didn't even, I forgot he had come out, you know, because he, he had such a good uh, uh, freshman year. I thought he might stay for a year and, you know, um, you know, a couple guys graduated from Michigan. But when I heard the Knicks got him, I was like, that's a pretty good pickup for the second round. And I was thinking that Scott Perry and Steve Mills were going to find another diamond in the rough, and let's see if they do. I think, I think they definitely found another diamond. I, I love Iggy just like you, and um, he played very well in, uh, in a very tough conference in the Big Ten, but... He played for John Beeline, who's an NBA yeah. coach now, so he had yeah. great coaching in college. Yeah. He brought it, and not, not much was expected of him going into Michigan. He went there and exceeded expectations. He, he, didn't, he wasn't thought of as a one-and-done player and ended up playing himself into mm -hmm. a one-and-done player, which is a testament to him and his hard work and Coach Beeline. You know, when you go after the top three in the draft, guys, tremendous parity. I know. From four on all the way through a lot of the second round. So they may have a find, like last year was Mitchell Robinson in the second round. Alonzo Trier is a free agent. Maybe Iggy is going to be the find of the draft. For more great videos from the MSG 150, check out her right there. And remember, our show is on Monday through Thursday, 8 to 10.30 p.m. on MSG Network and MSG Go.